Welcome to Electrical Stuff. This is a channel where you can learn the electrical knowledge in building sector. Today's my video topic is cable tray calculations. Cable trays are widely used in the buildings to carry the cables. So if you are choosing your cable tray wisely, then you can save a lot of money. So therefore, I advise you watch the video till the end to understand how to size your cable trays. I make videos on electrical design, electrical distribution uh, calculations, capacitor bank calculations and many other videos. If you are new to my channel, just go and watch those videos and get benefited. Cable tray calculations. To find out the cable tray calculations, we have four step process. Step one is find out the overall diameter of the cables. Step two, total weight of the cables. Step three, total width of the cables. Step four, add a given spare capacity. Then choose the cable tray size. Let's see with the example. Let's see an example. In this example, uh, generally it's given like this to find out the cable tray sizes. In this example, they give the two number 50 mm cables as well as two number 70 mm cables and one number 150 mm cables. Considering spare capacity 20% and uh, between spacing between the cables consider 10 mm. So this is the question. Then they will ask you to find out the cable uh, tray size. Let's see step one. What is our step one? Find out the overall diameter. To find out the overall diameter, let's uh, start with our cable. So let's see 50 square mm cable, overall diameter 40.5 mm. Uh, from where I get these values? Yeah, uh, you are asking. So these values I got from the cable manufacturing chart. So these values are varies from the manufacturers like a do cap national cables, Oman cables, Riyadh cables, different type of cables, they are manufacturing their diameter differently. So uh, which cables you are choosing? So uh, select the same cable manufacturing chart and take the values from that one. So 50 square mm, 40.5 mm. Then 70 square mm, 44 mm. Then 150 square mm, 54.5 mm. Let's now what we will do now we will do the total diameter of the cables are now add 2 into 40.5. So I have a two cable. So that is the reason I multiply with the 2 into 40.5 mm plus 2 into 44 mm 1 into 54.5 mm. So overall how, how if you adding these values you will get 223.5 mm. So this is the our overall diameter of the cables next next step step two step two what is the step two total weight of the cables so let's see 50 square mm 2.62 kilogram per meter and 70 square mm 3.35 kg per meter then 150 square mm 6.04 kg per meter similarly these values also i got from the cable manufacturing chart then if you add all those uh, weight uh, then you will get 2 into 2.62, 2 into 3.35, 1 into 6.04. This 2 because 2 number of cables. So if you are adding all those values, 18.28 kg per meter square. So total weight of the cables this much. So your cable tray should be capable to withstand this much of load. Then total width of the cables now we will be see total width of the cables are so uh, what is the formula total cables so uh, that is equal total cables how many cables you have into distance between the cables plus total outer diameter of the cables now we will be see so step one uh, i show you here step one how much you will get 223.5 mm square so how many cables we have two number uh, 50 mm 
two number 70 mm, one number 150 mm. So how many total cables? Five number of total cables. Distance between the cables, how much? Distance between the cables in the example, they say 10 mm. So the now I written like that. Total number of cables, five into 10 mm. This is the distance between the cable plus total outer diameter of the cables from the step one I will get 223.5 mm. So to how much total overall diameter? 273.5 mm square. This is the our total width of the cables. Then step four. Step four, you will be add the 20% spare capacity. If you are adding the 20% spare capacity, then uh, how much will you get? Uh, how, what is the formula? Total width of the cable. So you have to be adding total width of the cable. That is step three into 20%. From the step three, we'll, we just now we see 273.5 into 20 by 100. That is a 20 percentage value. How much you will get? You will get 328.2 mm. So we don't have. Uh, uh, so our cable tray, generally our cable tray should be more than 328.2 mm square. So we don't have generally 328.3 uh, uh, 328.2 mm cable tray. So we are going for the next size that is the 450 mm square. So our cable tray should be uh, 450 mm square and it can be withstand 18.28 uh, kg per meter. Therefore, uh, you, therefore, I hope you understand the how to choose the cable tray sizes with this video. Uh, choose wisely and uh, reduce the your cost. If you are oversizing your cable trays, the money will be increasing during the project. Uh, I hope you I enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. If you have any particular doubt in this video as well as, well as any other videos, just type on the comment section. Good day. Bye-bye.